Hello, welcome back to another You Ask, I Answer. With the market rolling over in the past three to four months, declining prices on many keys, I get this question on quite a few books. Did I miss the boat on selling blank? You can put in many different books in that blank, but let's take Giant Size X-Men 1, a book that we all have seen went up I think the highest price was on Heritage back in May. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> you know how the true police is on the internet. But I think it was 72-ish. And then it went down to the low 40s, right? Did you miss selling at the top? Here's my take on Giant Size X-Men 1. And you can apply this to many other keys. Certainly, we have had the blow off top in March through May. Okay, some books have topped even after, but in general, a lot of big books top out in March, April, May because the market is inefficient. I'm, sh I'm sure I'm beating the dead horse. But many of the books that have a blow off top have declined anywhere from 25 to 30% or even more okay keep in mind also many of those books that decline 25 to 35 or 40 percent double or triple compared to last year yes double or triple so if you have double or triple and some of them have even went up even more quadruple compared to 2020 and giving back a third is that a bad thing sure it doesn't feel good if you are the one trying to sell at the top and then you feel like you're missing the boat okay because you give back a third of the value of the gain well that's expected this go with any asset whether it's stock bitcoin housing market you name it nothing can sustain that move up i talk about this a million times on my channel but i don't think that's the all-time top you will never see the top again i'm not saying that okay because that's my belief regardless if i am exiting the hobby next year or soon I don't think that is the all-time high for many books. I think there could be another move, likely another move higher to the all-time high. Not right away. Things need time to digest, okay? You can't hit the all-time high in May, give back a third, and then four or five months later, hit the all-time high again. Take a look at crypto, Bitcoin. It hit the all-time high six months ago. And guess what? It's recovering, but it's nowhere near the all-time high. So you need time to digest. You need time to have more people enter in in order to push it higher. So the same thing will apply with comic books. Over time, likely you will get more investors more speculators more deep pocket big players that will enter in and push thing and chase thing to a new high one of the things that this hobby have is catalyst okay we had a void of catalyst for over a year with the pandemic with the lockdown many tv shows and movies were postponed to shoot right many things well now that things are opening up now that studios are starting to shoot again you are going to get a lot of catalysts in 2022 so i do believe there is going to be another wave higher from here is this new wave going higher going to top the all-time high four, five, six months ago, I don't know. 
I just know that I think those that want to sell and have time on their side, that's the key, okay? People that don't have time or have no patience to sell, well, guess what? You're likely to miss out on the next wave. So be a little patient. If you have multiple copies, as I have preached many times on my channel, it's nothing wrong with selling one copy a few months ago. It's nothing wrong with selling a copy right now. And it's nothing wrong with waiting next year to sell another copy because none of us can time the top. I know I can't time the top. I know I have been selling since the pandemic and I'm continuing to sell right now because for many of the books that I'm selling, price are still pretty good. Sure, they are 20%, 25% lower than what I could have gotten three months ago, six months ago, no big deal. They still double or triple compared to last year. So I'm happy to get the price 20%, 25% below the all-time high because I'm still getting a lot more than what I would have got last year or 2019, okay? So my strategy is still the same. Keep selling. There's nothing wrong with the market cooling off right now, especially on the books that I am buying and selling. I try to avoid the uber hot stuff that cool off really hard. The key is catalyst, okay? The X-Men, the reason why I use giant size X-Men 1 in this video is we are nowhere, nowhere near the fever pitch for X-Men and Mutants and Wolverine and any of that. We have nothing, no news, no announcement, no casting, nothing. So the runway, the runway for those books are still ahead, okay? Can it get back to the all-time high for many of those books, whether it's Giant Size X-Men 1 or X-Men 94? Why not? Why wouldn't it? Okay? We are nowhere near the runway. There is no news, no concrete news, nothing yet. So, to answer the question, I don't think you have missed your chance. If you want to sell, the best thing you can do is be a little patient because I think you will get a second chance, if not a third chance. We have a long way to go. And I think 2022 could be even a better year for some books. <laughs> I, I didn't say a better year for the entire hobby. I said a better year for some books. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.